Hey guys, my name is Crystal. I'm here with my arcade at the New York Toy Fair. And we have some really exciting things to show you. Micro players. We've got Bubble Bobble coming out. Miss Pac-Man. And Elevator Action. And then we also have a line of handhelds called the Pocket Player. So last year we released the Pac-Man Pocket Player. It did so well that we have ex decided to expand the line. So Dig Dug will get one, Miss Pac-Man, Galaga. They each have three games in them, so you got to collect them all and get all of the amazing games that are in it. The Dig Dug one is the one I'm most excited about because I'm a huge Dig Dug fan. You can see we've got artwork of the original characters and everything on there. And then of course Miss Pac-Man gets her own with Mappy and Sky Kid, which are some really great games. Now the Don Duck Don one, which was a Japanese game, this one will be limited edition and this is kind of meant for the fans that really liked this title and you know, you can't really get it in the U.S., so it's a great, you know, thing to bring over to the West. Now, our most exciting thing here today is called the Retro Champ. What this is, is a portable player for NES and Famicom cartridges. So this is our very first console. And it's going to be really neat. So you could actually play your games on the go if you have your old NES cartridges, because who doesn't have them lying around in their garage or attic? True. So, <laughs> and it has an HDMI out, so you can plug it into the TV and play on there as well. So it's a really great thing for cartridge people, like people who still have these cartridges, or even who go to collect them at yard sales, because you can test it right on the go. Yeah, just for NES and then Famicom, which is the Japanese version of the NES cartridges. And this has been Crystal with My Arcade, and please be sure to check us out at myarcadegaming.com, and we're on sugarcane.com. Back to you, Billy. Good morning, and welcome to the Chaos booth at the New York Toy Fair 2019. This is our second year with our Chaos brand bringing in the new trends of 2019. I would love to walk you through our trends for the year. We know that this year, the Pantone of the year is coral. So we have put together a beautiful piece, a fashion piece that we call Coral Crush, a camouflage concept that we brought together here, the Galactic Ice, the Galactic Eclipse, old school with a lot of fun features. Our Midas Ball is considered a celebratory piece, flower power, was one of our top sellers last year. Color Bomb was also a top seller last year. Because of how well we did, we've decided to bring it back into the line. Now, now, now hold up. You have a crew here that I do. they don't want to be on camera. I don't know what that's about. I, one of them's over there trying to play some game over there. He is. Let's try and get him over here. Let's call him over here. Taylor. Taylor. Say what's up, Taylor. Hey. Taylor, tell us about the company. Yes, we launched last year. Uh, we learned that soccer is uh, the highest growing sport in the U.S and 50% of youth soccer players are girls, but only 10% of the product appeals to them. So we developed an inclusive line, uh, trend-driven products, and uh, yeah, it's been a, a good start for us. Based out of LA, got my uh, coworker Laura here. And, and who's this? See now, see, Hi. what I like to do is I like to include the whole crew so you know what's going on behind the scenes. So <laughs> let's introduce our other member here. Yeah, this is Irene. Um, she handles everything on the on the development side uh, in China. So making sure that these products pass the testing, get delivered on time, colors are good. Um, yeah, she's really behind the scenes and uh, makes things happen. Chaos underscore soccer. Follow us, tag us. I'm Laura Kojak. I'm Taylor Moreno. I'm Irene Moll. And we're at Toy Fair 2019 in New York. At the Chaos booth. And we're with sugarcane.com. Back to you, Billy. Back to you. <laughs> Welcome to Toy Fair 2019. Al, so good to see you again. Glad you're here. <laughs> so I'm Matt Arm Brewster. I'm the designer and owner of the High Roller Adult Size Big Wheels. New for this year, this is our first production sample from our new factory with new molds and new tooling. And this is version 2.0. Looks similar, but a lot of tweaks. Redid the fork geometry, so the steering's not as heavy. Included a quick release seat slider. We've got improved rear axles, so it makes the wear on the tires even better, so we can get probably three, four hundred miles out of these plastic rear wheels. So we got a phone call saying, oh, yeah, we're a you know, production company out in LA, wondering if you have a couple high rollers that we could borrow or buy or loan or rent. And uh, so we worked that out. And then they called back, uh, you know, like six hours later, said, oh, and the guys want to know if they can paint them. I'm like, paint them? What do you mean? Yeah, I'd like them to be gold. And I was like, uh, yes. 
So uh, when the ad came out, I didn't even know what it was. When the ad came out, it was the Mountain Dew ad with the Migos riding the high rollers all blinged out. They gold plated basically the whole thing. They wrapped it in gold. It looks stellar. So <laughs> that's been pretty amazing. We've had a really good time with that. HighRollerUSA.com. Yep, and that's where we'll have all the latest updates and all the production schedule and where you can get your own high roller. All right, I'm Matt Armbruster with HighRollerUSA.com. We're here at Toy Fair 2019 with SugarCane.com. Back to you, Billy. Yeah. Right, got the back to you, Billy. Hi, Simon Booth here from Kitty Moto. We're at the uh, New York Toy Fair 2019. We've got the brand new Kitty Moto full face kids helmet. Check this out. I mean, this is super cool. I mean, it looks cool. It comes in some great colors. However, there is something pretty special about this. It has a detachable chin guard, and this guy is easy to pop off and. Then you've got a super cool downhill helmet as well. This is really lightweight. The chin itself snaps right back on. Click, it's in. There you go, you got your full face helmet. It starts at two years for the, uh, the small and it's adjustable and it goes up to 12 years for the medium size. We're on uh, sugarcane.com. Back to you, Billy. Hi, I'm Mark Forty. I'm with the William Mark Corporation. We're at the New York Toy Fair in 2019, and we are looking at the new line of feisty pets. One of the feisty monsters, look. These do not even have names yet, so if you have any suggestions, let me know. Look at these little feisty mini misfits. These are in blind boxes. They're tiny, but they're feisty. The four inch, where you push them down, and these can, uh, these can lock into place as well. The Mini Misfits come in little cages like this in this blind box, so you don't know what you're gonna, you don't know what you're gonna get. A whole slew of new characters, but I will show you some other new things. We have Scholastic is coming out with a series of books. Get Feisty, so uh, Feisty Pet Books coming your way. The first yeah. chapter books are coming out in March. Um, this is the Feisty Meme Book, and this is the official Feisty Pets Handbook with lenticular art on the front, and it tells you about all of the characters, gives you their stats. Feisty Halloween Mask. All you do is you put the mask on and you open, open the mouth, and there he is. <laughs> oh yeah, he's, he goes from sad to terrified. So this is probably the um, uh, the most emotional feisty pet that we've ever had. You? These are just prototypes. So sad to <laughs> hilarious. Large feisty pets and they work. <laughs> that is basically all the new things in the feisty pet line. When we first met he was doing magic with some 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 toys, some, remember? That's exactly right. And you also had the flying the flying fish. Yep. And uh, tell me, what's the update with that stuff too while we're at it? We still have the air swimmers lines and the magic line as well. We haven't been adding to those lines because Feisty Pets has kind of taken over the company. I'm Mark Forty and we are at New York Toy Fair 2019 and we are on sugarcane.com. Judd Sancio, Hyper Bicycles, Hyper Toy Company here at New York City's Toy Fair. Talking with Al Kane about some of the things that are going on with Hyper. We're here for mostly our mass merchant stuff, our ride on vehicles, our RC cars, some of our uh, mass merchant bicycles. And I'm just going to step through some of that. We can talk about some of the higher end stuff we're working on as well. First of all, we've really expanded our RC department. Last year we had basically one RC car. Now we have a number of RC cars sold at Walmart, Target, sold at Sam's Club. And we have a Yamaha license. We have the Pavati boat license. We actually do boats now. Um, so we've really expanded our RC car and um, not only in the States, but these are also going to be in mass merchants in Europe. So uh, just building that little empire there and then we also expanded our ride on. We've got our new Hyper UTV 1000, which is going into Walmart. We're working on uh, placing this BMW. The Paw Patrol is in Walmart and Walmart Canada. We have our Princess Six Volt in the Toy Story. Those are all sold at Mass Merchants. Some of these items are actually in Walmart Canada where we were Vendor of the Year, which is a big big honor to be uh, 
vendor of the year in hard goods, which means uh, we beat out companies that are electronic companies and other toy companies for vendor of the year in Canada. So mm -hmm. we've really expanded our business there too. Other than that, we have all our licensed bikes. And when I say licensed, I mean we uh, pay for, like for instance, Paw Patrol, a big property right now. Um, mm -hmm. Kids love Paw Patrol. We have a Paw, Paw Patrol ride on as well as a Paw Patrol bicycle, 12 inch, and then we have our 12 and 16 inch, our Hypers, our Nitro Circus, our Paw Patrol. We have Masha and, Masha and the Bear. We have Justice League. We have um, even our, our little basketball bike, which was a little concept bike where you could actually set this up as a little basketball court as well. And then we have the Batman bike. So have a lot in a Barbie bike. We have all the licenses. These are sold in Walmart Canada. Some are sold in, in Walmart USA. We also do our scooters. We have a jet fuel scooter, kind of like our high-end stuff. Nice. Um, and we have Nitro cir Circus skateboards and scooters. We have a 24-volt um, motorcycle we're working on, um, which, like I said, we're hoping to sell this into one of our key partners, but it's just not in yet. This was a prototype. Logan, Martin, Brandon Lupos. We have some of the top riders, and that's just going like gangbusters. They did so great at the X Games last year, winning golds, and uh, you know we're expanding some of that line. We're coming out with brakes. We're coming out with a bunch of new things, hopefully, this next year for the freestyle line. And in the race line, I do have stuff in the works, but I still have a lot of inventory of Mission 1s I'd love to get rid of or sell, and then we'll move on to the new stuff. But right now, our focus, unfortunately, isn't on the race, it's more on freestyle. We do have dirt jump frames in stock right now. We are growing, you know, exponentially with, with Hyper. We're, uh, you know, we're well over a $100 million company now, and from a humble beginnings of just doing some race frames into what we are now has been a, quite a journey. You can find Hyper on Instagram, it's just Hyper Bikes or Hyper Bicycles, and they both will go to uh, mostly our freestyle page. We have a or you can go HyperMTB on Instagram, Facebook, um, or Twitter. That's our uh, the mountain bike page. You'll see a lot of stuff with Boss and Eric Carter. Um, but you can catch us on any of the major ones. Just if you put in Hyper Bikes, you'll you'll come right to them. I'm Judd Ciancio at Hyper Toy Fair for Hyper Bike Co. And uh, it was great talking to Al Kane. And now it's back to you, Billy. Hi everyone. I'm Mrs. Origin, and this is my husband, Archie well, Origin, founder of Origin Culture. We are here today at Toy Fair 2019 to showcase our Origin Bees collection. Our Origin Bees come, this is our baby bee collection. They come in various skin tones. And something that's really special is that they come in different curly hair textures. We have the Origin Bee dolls, right? Uh, when it comes to the Origin Bee dolls, we, even though we talk about diversity, a lot of people look at diversity in terms of skin tones, but we also realize that diversity also comes, it goes beyond that. And also, we have to look at the hair textures. So if you see, we have various hair textures here. If you feel this one, this one is a softer one, or uh, and this one's a more of a tighter curl. But we want to make sure that these dolls are really representative of our reality and our girls. So all our skin tones come in all the different curly hair textures. The grades range from 3C to 4C, and we're going to keep adding to these dolls. We're going to keep adding skin tones, we're going to keep adding more curly hair textures, and our hope is just to be able to have a collection that's representative of all our girls. The, the real story behind this is, as we have, we have two, we have two daughters, um, and they all have different hair uh, textures. And one thing we notice is we don't want them to also growing up feeling that okay, my hair texture is this and hers is that, so mine is not cute or hers is cuter than mine. But we realized that this was not only a problem, um, not only a challenge in our family, but that was something that goes beyond that, because our oldest daughter went to school. And before then, we know we've been traveling all over um, the world, especially to Africa. And she's so she's well grounded in culture. She has so much pride in who she was. But then the moment she started school, within three weeks, she came back and said, I don't like my tight curls anymore. I want my hair straight. I want this. And my wife kept on complaining. In typical husband form, he found a solution. <laughs> he suggested, he's like, why don't you start creating dolls that you want to see in the toy aisle and online. And that's how Origin Bees was born. Hi everyone, I'm Mrs. Origin and this is my husband Archin Origin. We're with Origin Bees here at Toy Fair 2019 and we're at sugarcane.com. Back, Back to, to you, you Billy. Billy. My name is Colin Merlo with Goliath Games. I'm going to show you Boom Tricks, which is a small scale trampoline based obstacle course. 
And what you're going to see here is a release of small metal balls that are going to bounce along these trampolines down a course I've created all the way to a goal at the end. All right, so let's check it out. And go. Oh, there it is. I'm Colin Merlo with Goliath Games from Toy Fair 2019, and you're watching me on sugarcane.com. Back to you, Billy. What's up, guys? How you doing? It's Greg Wake, comic book artist, writer, and director from BeyondComics.tv. We are here at the New York International Toy Fair, and this is my new action figure, Tricity. We cast Adrian Curry, winner of America's Next Top Model, from Tyra Banks' show as Tricity in the comic book. It was licensed by TB League Fison. So it has a seamless synthetic skin body with 28 points of articulation with a titanium steel skeleton inside. And this character, Tricity, appears in our comic book, Gakido, distributed by Diamond. And it's co-created by writer Brandon Wilson and me, the artist, Greg Wyke. You can kind of see she has a built-in spine. So the arms are seamless synthetic skin and all the joints are completely hidden. And her mask opens up so you can see her face inside. And this is the Battle Damage Exclusive Edition, only available at BigBadToyStore.com. And you know, on a side note, just to kind of get personal for a second, it's interesting because if there's any artists or writers out there, when I was a little kid, bullies would come and they would, you know, try to say, oh, you and your stupid ideas, you'll never make it, you'll never get any of these things off the ground, but here we are. We got the comic, we got the action figures, so live your dream, keep going, and never give up, and never listen to negativity. Just, you know, listen to good criticism and try to make your stuff better. But if somebody puts you down or calls you dumb or, hey, that's a stupid idea or whatever, well, I'm proof that it's not. <laughs> so it can be. So guys, thanks so much for watching, and as they say in comics, to be continued. Hi, I'm Angie from the Netherlands. I'm here uh, with Invento. We make kits, constructible ride kits for children, uh, which they can assemble themselves. So, for example, you buy a kit, and from there on, you receive all the parts to build, for example, this cool tricycle, this awesome mini bike, which is electrical. This is the main profile, which are all rides based from. If you have a kit, you can also upgrade it to another kit and a bigger kit. And then you can build up to 39 different rides. All the manuals, you can download it from the website. You can assemble it also to your ride. We have a GoPro mount and a phone mount to add it to your ride. You can actually transform your ride into a glide. This is the bender. It's called the bender because it has this stabilizer system. So you steer actually by pulling your weight to side to side. And depending on what elastics uh, you put here, it, the, it, it bends easier or a bit harder. It's an e-bike. Uh, if you pull out the key, it will go uh, three miles an hour. And if you put the key in, for uh, then you go seven miles an hour. Actually, all the products go for your whole childhood. It goes from zero up to 14 years old. And uh, if a kid starts walking, you want them to push something so they don't fall. And by this one, they can put their stuffed animals in there or some toys and push it all along the, the house. This one is a child's favorite, actually. It's for two to four years old. When you pedal, it, it moves forward the back sides. It goes extra fast. And then the last one, it's the Buster, and it's also an electrical one. And uh, we're here at the Toy Fair New York uh, for sugarcane.com. Back to you, Billy. <laughs>